Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. For this every day's video, it's a Fiden's beer. This is Keepsake. It's a West Coast Pale Ale, 5.3% ABV, Citra Mosaic, and Meridian. Uh, I don't know a ton about Meridian, but Citra Mosaic, um, you know, I, I've had those plenty of times. Um, yeah, let's get into it. The last West Coast I had from them was actually pretty hazy, so I'm curious. Okay. <laughs> well, there goes my curiosity. So, yeah, this is more what I thought the last one was going to look like. That was, was it a pillar or a double? I don't remember. Um, but, yeah, this one it just looks unfiltered. Uh, beautiful golden yellow color. The head is white. Probably about half a finger to three quarters of a finger. Uh, small on the bottom, kind of sudsy on top. That's a... Come on, that's a beautiful looking beer. Let's get into the aroma. I, I get a nice like pop of citrus, mostly orange, and then a very herbaceous grassy thing. You know, I say that and then it goes back to some like fruity elements. Unripened peach. A little tropical. Man. It, it's it's kind of like generically fruity or like fruity esters. Maybe it's like more, you know, proper sounding way of saying it. But, but unmistakably orange. A little bit of lemon as well. Lemongrass. You're getting that herbaceous note for sure. A little bit of the malt coming through, more like Cheerios than anything else. It smells fantastic. A little confectionery. It's interesting because like the fruity elements do not seem particularly ripe, but then there's this confectionery, almost like gummy thing. It smells fantastic. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Ooh, that hits nice. Crisp. Very nice and crisp. Drinks like a West Coast in a lot of ways. But then and again, I don't know much about Meridian, so I can't really speak to that. And I know there are West Coast IPAs that use Citra Mosaic. But like you get a little bit of new school flavor. But like you get the body of a West Coast. You know, it, like again, it's not overly ripe. Um, fruits, you get that orange, a little bit of the lemon. So it follows the nose for me pretty good. A little bit of the Cheerio malt comes through as well. Um, yeah, let me go in for another sip. Yeah, yeah. Soft peach, very much like the, the skin of a peach. Yeah, herbaceous, grassy for sure. So yeah, again, it's got these things that are like what I think traditionally West Coast Pale Ale, you know, what they have, but because of these hops, it hits a little different in a cool, fun way. So like it scratches that West Coast itch, but it's not like drinking a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. You know, it's, it's not that thing at all. I shouldn't say at all, but it's not that thing very much. But this is super tasty. Now I'm getting a little floral. It's not dank. Like, it's West Coasty in that it, it's got like a, a nice floral thing. It's got this herbaceous thing. But for me, it doesn't get piney or dank. Um, but yeah, it's super tasty. Definitely drinks like a. a, a it drinks a <clears throat> pale ale plus, I, I would say. If I was doing this blind, I might even say IPA. So well done there. What was the ABV? 5.3, and it drinks a little bit bigger, which I like. It, yeah, I, I could see it's being like 6.5% IPA, too. So I, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, this is delicious. Has anyone had this beer before? Uh, you drink a nice West Coast Pale Ale. You can tell me something about Meridian Hops. Anything, everything, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews about those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.